This video is a little bit more advanced. Um, it's how to create a custom tab on your uh, business page on Facebook. Uh, I know that most or some people will not uh, or will find this a little bit complicated. I believe that anyone can do it if you do it very, very slowly. And that's my purpose on this video. Because uh, default tabs, as we've seen in another video, are very limited. Events, uh, photos, likes, They're very simple. Let's say that you want, for instance, to add a tab with your videos or a tab with graphics. I'm going to show you a very simple way to add a tab. So I log on to Facebook. I'm still under my regular user. I haven't even uh, gone on my business page and I'm going to click on the search bar static iframe tab. This is the this is what I'm looking for static iframe tab. I choose this and I'm going to do what it instructs me to do. Uh, basically it tells me that I can install a page tab. So I'm going to click on it, install a, a page tab. Let's click. Okay. I want to choose which page I want to add this tab to. You can obviously manage more than one page from your account. Uh, YDA demo is the only uh, page that I have available on this account. Add page tab. Okay. And we move uh, forward. Uh, I have to authorize the tab application. I'm just going to do whatever the it instructs me to do. And I want to go to app. It's an application that we basically add to our Facebook uh, profile. Go to app. I clicked it. And slowly but surely, it appears. Tab settings. Okay. Um, I have all kinds of uh, settings that I can uh, work with. But the bottom line is that uh, I can do whatever I want now with this new tab. Uh, I can change the name, which I will show you. I can change the tab image, uh, which I will show you as well. Um, but first of all, let's go uh, step by step. Um, let's see what we can do with these new tabs. For instance, you can insert into the tab whatever you want. You can insert an image, which you can choose an image and link and put a, an image directly on the page. Uh, we can choose a URL, which is a link. Uh, to be displayed on this tab, like a whole page, for instance. And and what I want to show you is how to use HTML. HTML is basically anything that you want uh, that will be displayed on this tab. For instance, let's say that I want to embed a video to this tab. So I already prepared in advance a video that I want to embed and have it appear on this tab. Okay. This video, uh, one another one of my videos on this website. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click under the video, you always have this on YouTube. By the way, not only on your videos, you can embed a video by another person. You can click on share. And after you click on share, you can click on embed. And you just copy, control C, copy this, go back to this new tab, paste it. Okay. Um, you can decide all of these features, I would keep all these features off for now. I can uh, decide the tab name, let's say that this tab will be named V the O's um, and I can choose whatever name that I want and just before I save the settings one last thing is uh, choosing the tab image uh, let's change the tab image and let's uh, select a, um, a small image that will be um, recognizable as the logo of this tab and I want to use my picture you, of course you can choose whatever you want and last thing we're going to do is save settings. So what did I do? I added uh, a new tab. I called the tab videos and I changed uh, the visual of uh, the small uh, tab icon. And now it's going to think a little bit. It takes, uh, it takes uh, some time to generate a new tab and I'm going to grant permission to this application. It's the first time I'm using it. From the second time and on, you're not going to need to do it. Allow. And the settings have been saved. Okay, this tab is live and running. So if I now go on my uh, business page, let's do all, let's go all the way back. Let's click on the video, sorry, on the business page and scroll down to the tabs. Hello, here's my new tab, videos. 
I just created it. I just decided what picture it will show to generate interest from the public. Let's say that I want this tab uh, more uh, visible. So, you know, I can switch locations. I showed it in another video. Click on this, I switch it with the likes. See, now it has a much better location. And if I click on this tab, let's see what's inside. So I click on this tab and hello, here's the video that I just uh, brought from, uh, that I embedded from uh, YouTube. You see, it's not that difficult. You just follow the instructions of the static iframe and you can use it again and again and again to create as many tabs as you want. This tab I chose to put on a video, but you can do basically whatever you want. And that's how you make your business page a little bit more interesting for the public and more interactive.